In this video, I'm going to talk about to-do items, to-do lists, and messages within Basecamp. So in general, you really want to try to use to-do items in Basecamp and then put the comments uh, associated with that to-do item um, under, uh, under that actual to-do item. So you can see here, here's the actual to-do item, and then here are the comments under that to-do item. And then this way, it also um, ensures that um, you can um, copy everybody on the project whenever that message is sent. So a common mistake um, within Basecamp is that users will put in a to-do list. So you can see this is a, a they put a to-do list here, and then under that to-do list, they gave it the a description. And so you don't that's you don't really want to do that. You want to like a to-do list will be like a, a, a common grouping for all your to-do items. So like if you have development or like maybe a, a set of reports or like user acceptance and testing, something like that. And then you add the, the to-do item under that, that list. And then after you add that to-do item, and you can assign that to-do item and give it a due, a due date, then that little bubble next to that to-do item is where you'll put your comments and then everybody's no notified. And so in general, you really want to try to keep most of your messages in to-do items and the comments with the to-do items um, versus general messages. And in fact, I don't really like the fact that Basecamp has the feature separate because you really shouldn't um, use the messages only maybe for private internal communication or um, or maybe just general um, communication with the client, but you really want to have like a, an action item, a to-do item with a, a definite due date, and then you put the comments under that. That way, then everything then flows logically. So you can look back a month from now, uh, six months from now, and you can see all the, the communication that was done um, in, in regards to that action item versus if you put in a bunch of different messages, then um, then there leaves, there's confusion. Um, what like if you if there's different items you're talking about, you have to piece it all together. Um, so in general, you really want to try to use a to-do item and then put the communication with that to-do item underneath um, in the comments with that to-do item.